Next, come in here and remove the brake calipers. Should be a 19 mil. Carefully, you're gonna wanna unclip the brake wear sensor and the brake hard line from beneath the bracket down here. Next, you're gonna wanna take off the brake rotor. Uh, there's a set screw that you need to remove first. Uh, yours might be a little more seized than mine was. Uh, there are two M8 bolt holes that you can use to work the rotor off the hub if needed. Uh, you might have to also install the axle bolt again. We're going to take the axle shaft off. It's a 8mm triple square. There's a couple of bolts all the way around there. Goes back in here. Each one of these. A good idea is to hammer them in. Make sure that they're seated all the way so you don't strip them out. And those removed. Pop your axle up over here, and now we pull this off. Right, this guy back on, so you don't damage your threads. Some people like to thread them on backwards. I don't really care. Just get it like flush. Next, grab a block of wood, and put it up against the axle bolt, and start tapping it out with a hammer. Sorry for filming this in portrait. There's also grease on my lens. I don't make videos often. Working on the driver's side, you're gonna have to move the exhaust a little bit to get the stub shaft out. Next, we're gonna take off these guys, four 17 mil. This whole piece should come off. You have your front bearing or your front seal in here. There's another ring that rolled away. That goes in here. It's the inner race of the bearing. And then you have your front spacer. It sits on that. It's directional. Keep in mind, this side's flat. This side is not. So it sits against that on the beveled side with the flat side facing outwards this way so looking at it from the inside you have your inner wheel seal here mine was hidden by all this gunk I just cleaned it away sorry I don't have a tripod clean this away pop out your wheel seal and behind that there's a snap ring grab your snap ring pliers and pop that out Now you can simply tap your front bearing out. There it goes. Alright, so we have our front bearing here, and then there's this spacer seal. Sorry, my hand.
sand in the way. Very greasy. Spacer seal. And then you can tap out your rear bearing. There's two little grooves in there on each end for you to hit it evenly on each side. So then we're left with this old order of things is right here. It's uh, the spacer, front bearing, middle spacer, rear bearing, snap ring, seal. And then the stub shaft with this ring should be all the way down here. So you're going to want to clean all this stuff up. You're going to want to pull this guy up and off. Clean him. Make sure you remember orientation. Um, this is the front spacer. You're going to want to clean that. Uh, maybe sand the inside with some light steel wool or something not too abrasive. Uh, it's the old front bearing. You can tell it's the front because the inner race falls out of it. Um, you, I wouldn't reuse these. The inner spacer, rear bearing, and then rear circlip and the seal. And the front seal can stay in the hub. Just a quick rundown of the parts. This is the inner wheel bearing. Uh, I ordered from Rock Auto. They sent this one. It's a sealed bearing. I was going to pop the covers off, but I guess it's some sort of an upgrade. I ordered uh, back in Arnley parts, although they usually show up with the OEM. You can see if this focuses. This is a notchy bearing. Same with this one. This is the front. You can see the center race falls out of it. It's a notchy. Uh, this is the seal that goes on the hub. And then this is your axle stub. So I put these on here for reference. So remember which way that they go. Axle nut. Pop that off. Then you have this race. It sits on the outer wheel sealed. It's beveled on this edge. So make sure you, this faces in. This goes in last. Then you have this spacer that you pop in after you'll see, keep watching the video. And then this one faces down on the beveled edge towards the CV hub. That one stays on there when you install it. You're gonna to wanna to clean this surface, make sure that there's no marring or anything that looks super bad. Uh, I used a scotch Bright pad, just like some synthetic steel woods, wool some people call it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna to get to installing it. Coming back to the car, if you look in the hub, I've cleaned the outer bearing seat. Uh, again, scotch Bright pad really works well. doesn't take off too much, just a light, light scrub to knock back any of the rust that's formed. Um, the inner one I still need to clean, so you're going to want to clean all the grease out of there. And if you want, you can clean these mounting flanges. The o-ring that I mentioned earlier sits on that flange there. Uh, I do want to mention that Rock Auto does not uh, have a listing for the outer outer yeah outer wheel seal uh, the one that they have listed is for the inner uh, the difference is the the width diameter I have a part number for the correct one I will uh, post it in the description and probably link it below somewhere I'm just gonna clean this one up and reuse it I'll probably buy some new ones in the future they're pretty easy to access I'll just pop this off and replace them at a later date uh, you're gonna want to clean anything out of there too so we're gonna clean all that up and we'll come back you got it nice and clean, you're going to want to grab your bearing, depending on if it's a sealed bearing or if it's a greasable bearing, you're going to want to apply grease to it. A little bit of grease never hurts to uh, put the bearing in if you want, just to aid it. And then uh, you're going to want to smack it in evenly all the way around. Helps if you have a seal driver kit. If not, the uh, sock that you use to take off the axle is almost a perfect fit if you off-center it. Once you get the bearing in and you hear the sound of your hammer change as the bearing sits flush against the backing plate. Uh, you'll see the snap ring groove up here. And you grab your snap ring pliers and grab them up here and pop her in. Make sure that they're sitting flush. They're seated properly. Jack, excuse me. Might tap that in a little bit actually. Yeah, and then that's your, uh, your rear. And, uh, Put some grease in there and then grab our rear wheel seal and pop that in. Grease is uh, ultimately up to you because it is a sealed bearing that I'm replacing it with, so the grease would be to just travel through in case the seal fails, I guess. Pop the seal in there and then tap it in. 
It's a tricky one to tap in evenly, so if you have a sealed driver kit, it really helps. Um, it's in though. And we come back to this side. Remember this guy. Remember our order. And our sleeve. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab our grease and we're gonna squeeze it in there. Fill it in, and we're gonna pop in our spacer, which we also grease. And then comes our front bearing. I'll be right back once I finish that up. I got the spacer in there now. I'm gonna grab the outer wheel bearing. We're gonna have to fill this one with grease too. Um, packed a lot of grease in there. If you look, it's all in there. Might be too much, but. Better to air on too much than not enough. Alright, and then you grab this guy. Uh, you grease them up, you pop him in here. Yeah. We're gonna want to tap him in evenly. Now that that's in properly, you're gonna want to take your backing plate, put some grease all in there, grab your seal. Make sure this is cleaned up properly. Pop him on there. Like that. Grab some grease. That's ready to go. Grab her up. Pop her. And where she's supposed to be. Backing plate on, grab your bolts, 17 mils. Uh, I like to put a little bit of blue Loctite on the tips. Thread them in. Ask the 17 mil bolts on there. The outer seal race. Put some grease on there too. Make sure you put the beveled side and the flat side out. Grease the seal there. Clean this all up. And you're ready to put your axle stub in. You're gonna to want to grease the whole shaft. Keep your jokes to yourself. This thing facing down needs to stay on when we install it. Now that your shaft's all greased up, take it, pop it in the back. Same way you got it out. And then with it sticking out a bit, you're gonna to want to grab a block, something to tap, place it on the back. Grab your hammer, drive it in. These might pop out in the process. Might be a good idea actually just to take them out, put them back in after. The shaft through. You want to take this beveled edge out, slide them on. Snug fit into the seal there. Next up, grab your hub. Make sure that was clean properly. You don't want to slide him on. Should spin nicely. Grab your axle nut. Fasten her down. Pretty much all she wrote. You're gonna wanna put your rotor back on, fasten your CV shaft, caliper, spacer, wheel, done.